Hello everyone. In the previous video, we studied about the census and sample method of statistical inquiry. Now the next topic to be to be covered under your chapter number three is methods of sampling. That how the sampling is done. Basically, there are two main methods of sampling. The first one is the random sampling, and another one is the non-random sampling. Now, from the name itself, it is clear that in the random sampling, the sample will be chosen out in a random manner. And under this, there are two methods. That is the lottery method and tables of random numbers method. Now, under the main second method, that is the non-random sampling. There are five main sampling methods. The first one is purposive sampling, then stratified sampling, systematic sampling, quota sampling, and convenience sampling. Now, according to the suitability of our statistical study, we will make use of these methods, and we will study each method one by one. The first method of sampling is the random sampling. Now, in this form of sampling, that is, it is the method in which each and every item of the universe has equal chance of being selected in the sample. That is, in this form of sampling, we will, or the probability of being selected of each and every item will be equal because we will be randomly selecting the sample out of the given population or the number of items and it is used when items of the universe are homogeneous in nature that is when the items of a given universe will be of similar characteristics then this type of method of sampling is more suitable as the items in the universe are of similar nature or the homogeneous nature so that will not create a difference in our study that which sample has been chosen and this method is impartial and economical in nature obviously the biasness will not be involved in the sampling because the samples are chosen randomly by the investigator and this is economical method because it does not require much time and efforts by the investigators now for example if in a class of 50 students i need to take out the five samples i will simply make take out five students out of your class without judging their characteristics so that is a random sampling and under random sampling there comes the two methods the first one is the lottery method and another one is the tables of random numbers method now what is the lottery method as a lottery is as in the process of lottery in that also the randomly a chart is chosen similarly in this case paper slips are made for each item in the universe and slips will be shuffled and some slips are drawn as a sample for example you must have heard about the lucky draws what they used to do they will simply make the slips of the certain numbers and the numbers will be assigned to the items of the universe now in that case we will make slips and those slips will be kept in a certain box and they will be shuffled and randomly some slips will be taken out from that box and those numbers which have been written on those slips will be taken out as the sample or as the winners of those lucky draw similarly this technique can be used in our statistical study like for example i have to study about the economic conditions of the workers of a certain factory and the number of workers are very much large so what i will do i will make the slips of their names and will shuffle those those slips in a certain box and from those thousand slips of the workers working in a factory i will take out 100 slips from that and the name of the workers which will come on those slips will be taken as the sample by me so this was the lottery method the next method is the table of random numbers now this is another form of the random sampling method in which sample is framed with reference to the set of tables prepared by statisticians now in this method some statisticians have prepared their tables specially for the random sampling method in which the digits are arranged randomly 
Now in this case, what statisticians usually do, they will make a form of table. A table will be made and in that table, the numbers will be written in a random manner. Like for example, firstly, they will be written 1000, then 1010, then 2000. Like this tables will be, must have written in a whole table. And what they will do, the investigators will firstly assign these numbers to the units of a certain population and then will randomly choose out numbers from these tables and now the numbers which have been chosen randomly by the investigators will be taken as the sample of from the whole population so this was all about the table of random numbers now you can take one example which is known as tippet's table as it was prepared by tippet so in this table there are total of 41,600 figures which have been divided under 10,400 numbers as these have been divided like in one unit. In one number there will be 4 units. Now in the second number there will be another 4 units. So like this 41,600 figures have been divided under 10,400 numbers. If you divide this by 4 you will get 10,000 400 so under one number four units were four units were given so like this the tippets prepared his table and investigators make use of this table like for example they will they will assign these numbers to the various items of the universe and in case they have to choose out the sample from this they will select certain numbers and the units who have been assigned those numbers will be taken as the sample from the population so this was all about the random sampling in which each and every item of the universe has equal chance of being selecting in the sample and therefore this method is also an impartial method and it is basically used when the items of the universe are of homogeneous nature and two methods come under this that is the lottery method and the tables of random numbers. This was all about today's video in which we studied about the random sampling. In the next video, we will study about the methods under the non-random sampling which will cover the 5 methods of non-random sampling. Thank you so much.